Yo, what's up? This is Christopher back at it again with another video. Today we're going to look at Luminar Neptune. Now, this is a huge update to Luminar, and the two features or the highlighted features for this are what MacFun is calling the Accent AI filter and the quick and awesome workspace, which is what you are seeing right now on my screen. So the first time you launch uh, Luminar Neptune, you are going to be presented with three choices for what type of workspace you want to load into Luminar. And choose the quick and awesome one, and this is what it looks like and why they call it quick and awesome is because, as you can see over here on the right, we have three filters. We have the new Accent AI filter, we have the Saturation Vibrance filter, and then we have Clarity filter. So what this is doing is it's simplifying the workspace for the novices or even the professionals alike. So hey, if you just want to quickly edit something, you're a professional photographer, you have a lot of experience in um, editing photos, but you want something simplified, well, here you have it now with Luminar Neptune. And then secondly, you have the Accent AI filter, which is really awesome because this uses artificial intelligence to analyze an image. And what it's going to do, it's going to base it on structure, objects, dark and light zones, colors, other parameters, and it's going to fine tune the image to give you the best overall look. So it's gonna take all the hard work out of editing a photo and it's going to intelligently analyze the image and do all the hard work for you. And then the only thing you gotta do is if you just want to desaturate or maybe you know bring the vibrance down, add a little clarity to it, that's it, like you are done. And then if you wanna crop it or something, you know, you could do that. But I mean, that's not it. If you want to add more filters, maybe you like the look that you're achieving with the Accent AI filter, but you want to make further adjustments to it, maybe you wanna fine tune a little more, you can still do that as well. But if you don't wanna do that, then MacFun has made Luminar so simple and so awesome. So let me show you real quick. So let's go ahead and add some Accent AI filter. And I'm gonna go with about 75 or so right there. So let's go ahead and let this image process and we'll look at the before and after. So that was the before and then there's the after. And as you can see, what Luminar has done is it's made the sky bluer. It's whitened that snow a little bit. So let's go ahead and boost this up a little bit more. Let's just go 100. And now let's look at it. So this is the after. And here is the before. Look at that. It's just that building right here in the in the center right here. Look at the blueness of it. Look at it before. It's like this gray, but this looks more natural right here. I'd probably bring it down a little bit. I probably wouldn't go 100. Maybe like let's go with 88. See how that looks. All right. So what I want to do is I want to desaturate this a little bit. And I want to bring down some of the vibrance. And I want to increase some of the clarity here. So I'm gonna go about 40. And let's go ahead and let this process here. And then now let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, and then this is the after. Look how awesome that looks or whatever. And it was so simple. Let me put the slider up here on screen. So that's the before, and then that's the after. And you can kind of see like the 50-50 shot of it. So let me bring that over a little bit. And then just look at that. So simple. Awesome update here for Luminar Neptune. Now, they've also added other new features into Luminar Neptune. And I'll show you some of those real quick as well. So let's go ahead and remove this. So another cool thing that they've added is local history. So you can have separate um, viewing histories while you're in like transformed noise or like the clone and stamp tool. So let me just show you real quick. So we have our image right here and I'm gonna come over here and tap on the uh, clone and stamp tool. And I'm just gonna pick a couple areas up here just, just to show you real quick. So I can come up here to the history and you'll see I can just roll back just these revisions right here for the clone and stamp tool. These are not like the overall, um, this is not my overall history of what I've done. So if I just come back right here to clone and stamp mode entered, and let's go ahead and just apply that. And then I come back up here and look at my history now. And as you can see, look, I'm back to just the original history where the last thing I'd done was added the clarity or whatever. So now you can come back if you wanna make a revision, but you don't wanna roll back like all your previous work that you've done, you have that option right there. So that, that's really cool, that's a new feature. And then on the crop tools, let's go ahead and select this. So now you can adjust the size. You can just punch in the number right here and then lock it. That is a new feature that did not exist in the um, last version of Luminar. So you can be able to specify like a custom crop size and that'll just bring like the ultimate usefulness to cropping. Some of the other updates that they've added, plug and integrate, 
plug-in integration with Creative Kit and Aurora HDR. So if you have some of the other Mac Fun applications, such as Aurora, you're now going to get the plug-in integration with that. The vignetting filter, they've also added some adjustments to that. So let me just show you real quick. Let me just load this in here. So now you have the mode. You have post-crop and pre-crop. Pre and then you have place center, which those previously did not exist in the last version of Luminar either. So if this quick and awesome workspace is not your cup of tea, you still have the options for essentials, black and white, landscape, portrait, street, or you can create your own workspace. You know, if you have a certain workflow that you want to go with, you know, you could do that as well. But uh, this is the Luminar Neptune update. You do not own Luminar Neptune yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description and this will help me and it'll help you save a little bit of money. I'll get a little bit of kickback from it. But most importantly, it'll let the Mac Fun team know that you came from me and that you watched this video review and you found it useful, you found it helpful, and you checked out Luminar thanks to my YouTube video right here. So I would appreciate that if you would use that affiliate link. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave that below. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day. Peace. If thousand tomorrows follow each other.